What's up? I'm Elsa Wright. Today I'm going to show you how to create 2D, the fictional band member from one of my favorite bands, Gorillaz. First off, I'm putting my hair back. I'll be painting on it later, so I want to have it be as smooth as possible with a high ponytail. Next, I blocked out my eyebrows. If you want to see a video on how I do this, check it out here. Now I'm applying foundation. I like to pour it on the back of my hand and apply it in dots so that I know exactly how much I am putting on my face. Then I'm just pressing the foundation into my skin and onto my eyebrows, leaving a space open around my mouth for my painted mouth to come later. Skipping concealer, I next powder my entire face. I'm using Wolf White face paint to outline the details of the look. You could use white eyeliner, a concealer pencil, or whatever you have to trace the design. I create the shape of the mouth, the tongue, and the circular eyeballs. And then I start creating the teeth, referring to a reference photo of 2D on my laptop. I'm using Wolf Black to outline all the things. I normally use Diamond Effects White and Black because it's a lot easier to get a hold of than Wolf White and Black, but I did happen to get an order of Wolf in during Halloween, and it's still going strong. If you're curious, I buy all my paint products from JustPaint.com. My Nikon stops recording every 20 minutes and I forgot about it, so I didn't get this on camera, but I just filled in the tongue with pink and continue outlining and filling in the mouth. To reduce the shine, I take a black eyeshadow and press that all over top of the black paint. And next is the nose. It's just a thick brown line outlined with a thin black line and some black nostrils. 2D has some slight dark circles under his eyes, so I took the residual black shadow from the brush I had just used a minute ago and blend that lightly under the eyes. Then I fill in the eyes with a watered down black for a less opaque color. Then I apply a dark gray eyeshadow over top of that to make everything nice and even. 2D has a dark outline around the blacks of his eyes, so I use some regular wolf black and go around both eyes. To finish the eyeballs, I take a black eyeliner pencil and tight line my upper and lower lash lines. For the hair, I am using Snazaroo Blue. I create his facial bangs and color in the rest of my hair blue, and I thought, hmm. How could I make those spiky hair pieces? So I grabbed some of my ponytail and painted it to see what would happen, and it ended up working out great, so I bobby pinned the hair in place and painted it up. High quality face paint works great as a hair paint and washes out of hair just as easily as it washes off skin. It makes hair pretty stiff, so in my case, it made the pieciness of the hair really simple to achieve. To match the character, I outline the painted hair on my face and create little black lines to simulate hair strands. And then I pinned up the rest of the ponytail so it wouldn't poke out, and this is what everything looks like from the side. I finished the face by adding some lines underneath the eyes, creating 2D's solid black eyebrow, and outlining my jaw to make a pointed chin. I did it again, I had no idea I wasn't filming, but thankfully, the part I've already done is pretty self-explanatory. I painted the letters in snaz white and painted my body in a light green from Global Colors. I'm then taking a dark green eyeshadow and shade some of the edges in the armpits of the shirt. I don't want to shade too much because 2D is a 2D cartoon. I paint in between the letters with green and then I outline the shirt with dark green on the sleeves and the collar. I outline the letters in black, the sleeves and the collar in black, and I then add details on my shirt including armpit wrinkles, stitching, and some extra little details and lines. And that is the finished look. Make sure you're following me on Snapchat and Instagram if you want to see more sneak peeks of looks like this one. Links to my social media accounts are below. Also, if you have any ideas for future looks, leave them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!